This is me, Spoonies. So apparently, Nintendo Wii controllers are being used to help diagnose an eye disorder. Really, this is quite uh, quite the news if you really think about it. Apparently, scientists say that they can use the Wii remotes to assess and diagnose children with um, abnormal head positioning caused by um, eye diseases. Um, they described uh, investigative ophthalmology and visual science art to articles of that nature. Uh, researchers developed a low-cost digital head posture measuring device uh, with Nintendo Wiimotes to help diagnose this condition, medically, medically called torticollis, also known as, I believe, Rynek is another term that they use for it. It's kind of like people with head positions like that are like visibly this bad. You know, if I have it, it must not be bad, but I know I always have shitty posture, but I'm pretty sure it's not known, not due to this disease or else. Maybe since I have a Nintendo Wii, I could probably diagnose myself with it. Or should have already been able to tell something was seriously wrong with me. Anyway, this uh, disease occurs in 1.3% of children. I guess maybe that's North America, maybe that's the whole world. They don't really specify from this article I'm going to put in the description. Um, but uh, the author of this article said that... Uh, the Seoul National University College of Medicine. Um, the accurate measurement of the angle of the abnormal head position is crucial for evaluating disease progression and determining treatment or surgical plans in parties with ocular torticollis. So, I mean, I guess that means where it's legitimately caused by your eyes and you have to maybe tilt to see. I don't know. I thought it was just a, a spasm of your muscles or something like that. But apparently vision has something to do with this disorder, and this is how they, uh, they treat it. The researchers um, used two Wii controllers to develop an infrared optical head tracker that automatically measures um, and records the angle of a person's head in real time. Uh, the remotes were connected to a monitoring computer with uh, you know, a camera, Bluetooth connectivity, that stuff like that, and uh, the angles were evaluated for accuracy, like where that positioning was, and just how valid it could be, and the reliability by comparing it with other stuff and all this big, crazy technical terms. But um, what it's most boiled down to, and apparently it's done in a few hospitals already, but basically the most important thing that this boils down to is that they're using Wii controllers f in the medical industry to help diagnose people with disorders. Now, that's kind of cool. I mean, of all things to be helping people get better, it's video games. Weren't these the things that people were telling could rot our brains out if we play them too much, or that our eyes would go bugger-eyed if we stared at the screen too long? And here they are using it to, uh, using video game pieces to help people to get them diagnosed with an eye disorder, and these are the same things that told us that we go bugger-eyed if we played too much. I just find the irony in that kind of funny. Um, I found this article very interesting. I found it last night right before I went to bed, so that kind of explains why this video is up early on a Monday instead of evening on a Sunday like I'm supposed to do. A lot of things came up. I was tired yesterday. I had a lot of I did a lot of running around yesterday, and by the time I got home, it was basically bedtime for me because I needed to crash. And uh, this just so happened to be what I stumbled upon because I searched up stuff that I could do my video on because I look. Uh, up recent Nintendo news, you know, for my weekly videos, and this was the most compelling to me in terms of recent news for Nintendo. Just because it's like Nintendo's being used in a medical field, even if it's to diagnose an eye disorder or torticollis, Rynek, whatever, they're still using it to diagnose people, and they're using it as a medical tool. Video games are becoming medical tools, people. Yes, they are. Maybe they'll be Nintendo hospitals one day. Anyway, comment in the, uh, the comment box on what you think about this. Maybe you could explain a little better than I, but I just found this news really interesting. Even if I'm not the best and most knowledgeable on this subject, um, the article that I'm going to link in the description box for this video is a lot more... You could probably understand it a lot more better than me trying to explain it to you. So, yeah. So check out that article. It's pretty interesting. And... Uh, I'll see you around with another video in a few days or so. Maybe I'll actually make one on Sunday coming up. Hopefully I don't have to do a bunch of running around and stuff. So, 
yeah. Anyway, uh, I'll talk to you guys later. I found this article really uh, kind of entertaining, so I hope you do too, and I'll uh, see y'all later. Peace.